Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Door here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Shadowhunters Season 4, Episode 10, 320, titled City of Glass. Jonathan makes a deal with with the Sealies and reveals his true form, while the Shadowhunters, desperate to stop him, race into battle at Alicante. Okay, so... I was seemingly correct in that Jonathan is going to try and make a deal in exchange for the Morning Sword to return the, um, Silly Queen. Again, I doubt the Silly Queen would have actually told anyone but herself where the Morning Star Sword is, but it seems I was wrong about that. And what are they rushing into Alicante for? Because... There's really not been much um, to do with Alicante in the show. Like, sure there was um, the battle against Valentine in that. And we found out about um, Heavenly Fire. Plus there was that little prison thing. But most of this has been localised entirely in New York. Like, we don't have the LA characters... Well, we've got one of them, but she was seemingly stationed at Alicante. Everyone else that we know from across the country is in New York at the moment. So, yeah, um, I don't know why they'd have to be rushing to Alicante unless it's to get um, back up. But there's also the fact that all of the guard wants to kill Sebastian so they're going to kill Clary too and they don't want that to happen so I'm confused as to why they're going there but let's get this started in three two one go Also, surprisingly, there was no mention of Clary or Magnus. And what the hell is up with Lilith? What is she doing? Oh, we're following up on that, are we? Do you still want to know why the Silly Queen just bit Jonathan? Oh, well. Hmm. The Queen knows there's some fuckery going on now. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she knows exactly what is going on. Given she's as 
Oh, if she is as old lived as she says. Really? Asmodeus by his son of Pretzel? Are you really going to go to Lorenzo's father or mother? <laughs> Did he not know about that or was he not expected to be called out on that? You're all about trickery in that. Then do double crosses is a form of trickery, so. Hmm. Probably should not have said forever, but. To offer an unspecified payment to a sealy is a very high bargaining chip. It is interesting that he's willing to tell his mum and his sister, but not Chase. <laughs> really?
That's not really Magnus, is it? Your Belials? How long was Belial the subject of Asmodeus? He's banished from Edom. I was not expecting Lorenzo to be a out of curse. Also, no, that doesn't work. The princess can only have one shot at a time. Why does the Praetor want the shot the piece of glorious? Also they're not as shady as this in Both my parents are home. Why does he want to come in my room? That's not going to happen.
she is acting a little suspicious this episode. Or is that just me? <laughs> you really need someone to spill it out for you, did you? And again, I am giving him benefit of the doubt because he is going through an emotional turmoil right now. Hmm, I was not expecting... You know, when he said, no you did, I thought this was a, oh he's just been a ghost this whole time, but no, people have been interacting with him. Belial's a royal, so Lorenzo's a royal. Unfortunately, Lilith isn't there.
Hmm. Okay, was not expecting that. That seems pretty genuine. Yeah, Clary, you're not exactly a sword wielder. Is that a Farsight rune on an arrow or an accuracy one? Nope, it's an ex heavenly light. You really should have given Jace the sword. How did, when did they inscribe the second glorious? Hmm. He has be become the morning star. I was wondering if that's what they meant by his true form.
even though it wasn't Sebastian who had the wings. It was Ash. <laughs> Simon Ren. I'd clear that up so that the fair folk don't have charges of angelic metal. Are you going to actually give it to the Prado? <laughs> they stole his home. <laughs> okay, was not expecting... That's what they meant by rushing to... What Jonathan wants, he wants. What Jonathan thinks is correct, he thinks is correct. A direct th line from the... Well, not direct, but... Paraphrased from the book. Well, at least you've got shards of, um... In case you might want to reforge them again.
I mean, um, Simon's inside the city. Times it was one of them that entered. He's dead, isn't he? The Billy Kelsey, Jordan Kyle. Okay, I guess she's not going to say it. Okay, I thought that was the end of it. Simon, Luke, I think one of the ones in the background is also a character we've seen. He looks like a werewolf. The one in the back that I said looked familiar. Well, that's an issue. Was not expecting this with two episodes left. Thinking maybe end of next episode. This is a lot more in line with what happened during Valentine's. <laughs> really?
Okay, that's not the end. Okay. <laughs> the demon towers and turrets. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you know about it, well, was that Magnus thinking that he might be able to?
Why did that have the same f feel as, I'll find you, I always find you. I do have issues with the fact that they're all just in a side instead of fighting because in every other instance they would be on the ground leading the assault if not participating in it. Hmm. Okay. There was a lot that happened in that episode. Um. So, yeah, that, like I said, that felt a lot more in line with the Valentine War than it did the Sebastian War. I'm not going to call it by its actual name because, well... We haven't gotten the component that made it that name, so. Um, yeah. In book three, when Valentine had the mortal sword and that, he opened a rift, the bar cut between realms, and let forth an army of demons, along with those that he had brought to his side with the mortal cup and that, the shadow hunt, new shadow hunters that he had made. Um, at least I think, I think he did succeed in that in the book. I may be confusing that with the show, but um, yeah. And what happened was Jonathan, who was at the time posing as Sebastian Vilak, he climbed one of the towers. Because the only way to shut off the demon towers is to inscribe a rune using demon blood. The problem is that there was no way to get demon blood into Alicante because the towers were inside the wards. They were generating it at a distance outside of their perimeter. So, um, we actually, on the day of the attack, have Max say that he thought he saw someone climbing the demon towers and everyone just brushed it off as a little kid's imaginations. Then that night, the towers went down and demons started invading Alicante. And there were a lot of um, people that got hurt, like Elaine got snatched out of the... Um, Penhallow family house and Isabel had to go save her she was like frozen in fear afterwards because she'd lived in Alicante her whole life they hadn't really faced demons when they lived there so and since she was underage she didn't go on missions and that so it's understandable but yeah you had um, demons all running through the street and everything. You had everyone working to save the people of the town. Meanwhile, Jace and that went out to fight Valentine and Jonathan and that. So it was more in line with that, with the demons invading Alicante and that. So, interestingly, they did do what happened well the equivalent of what happened in the book that being clary being the one to be stabbed with glorious however again the scenario in which it happened was different like they all they went into this saying 
that they were going to use it on Jonathan. Yet when it actually came to it, at no point did they try to use it on Jonathan. Like, they should have given the sword to Jace, had him face off against Jonathan, Alec with the um, sunlight arrow, and then just a quick stab. Like, that would have worked. But instead, they had Isabel with it, squaring off against Clary from the beginning. Whereas in the book, Cl Clary had the... S no. They arrived at this place called the Baron, which is why it's called the Battle of the Baron, where Sebastian was... I'm not going to say what Sebastian was doing there. There was... Let's just say he had some followers, like allies, that he was meeting. And so he arrived there with the house, Jace there, Clary there as well. And while he's giving this speech, Jace is still enthralled. Clary's basically un there under threat of, um, I forget what the actual threat was, but basically he was trying to make her his queen and all that, the leader of the army he was meeting and instead Jocelyn, Isabel, Elaine, Helen, I think Luke, Maya, Simon, they all got there. Magnus was there as well, Alec, possibly Maris, though I'm not entirely sure about that one. They all rocked up and they faced off against Sebastian, his army, and all of that. While that was happening, Sebastian was trying to raise Lilith because he wanted his mother by his side. No, he actually had partially raised her because he needed her for the ritual that was being performed. And part of that ritual had the end goal of fully raising Lilith. And... Instead, um, it got down to Sebastian's army was basically body shielding Jace, Sebastian, and Clary. Clary broke through and got to the good, the heroes, and they try and get the sword through to stab Jonathan. However, there is one person there that they also don't want to kill outside of Jason that and she starts body blocking them and then I forget exactly how it happens but it's squared off that they can't get to Sebastian and he and Jace are about to leave so in an act of desperation they stab Jace it burns out the link everything connecting him to Sebastian and that and, yeah, so it wasn't planned to stab Jace or anything. It was just a last-ditch effort, hoping that what the angel said was true, in that if there was good that outweighed the bad, then the good would survive. And, yeah, so it did end up the same. It's just very different. There was no real big two opposing armies there were small armies but still it was just 2v2 um i am interested with them saying that lorenzo was the son of belial because one belial is a prince of hell on equal footing with asmodeus in fact Arguably, Belial is stronger because the princes get their power from their realms. Asmodeus has to share his realm with Lilith. However, Belial is the thief of realms. He goes around stealing other realms and that. And at one point, he did have control over um, Edom and neither Lilith 
nor Asmodeus could stop him. Technically, Asmodeus didn't have claim of the realm at that point, and it was only after they dealt with Belial in the second prequel series that there was a co-ownership of the realm between the two of them. But, yeah, because Billy was a lot stronger. And the issue is that I think it was said in the sequel series or it could have been in the Alec Magnus tie-in series that the children of the Princes of Hells are called the Eldest Curses because it is a curse to be a warlock and they are the children of the Eldest Demons. There's also another reason, but I haven't actually read that series, the Alec Magnus one, and the Eldest Curses series hasn't started releasing yet, so you get more information there, but the problem is there can only be one child of each Prince of Hell at a time. There can only be one child of Asmodeus, one child of Belial, one child of Mammon, one child of Leviathan, so on and so forth. And it's also incredibly difficult for a Prince of Hell to actually conceive a child. Like, Belial can't even step foot on Earth. So for him to have child is incredibly difficult. And there's also the fact that he already has a daughter alive and we know she exists in the show because we've seen images, we've heard the name drop of Tessa Gray working in the Spiral Labyrinth. She's one of the warlocks that are deemed as more powerful than Magnus. She is the daughter of Belial. So Lorenzo can't really be but again, I'm going off of lore that was established after this came out, so I can't really blame them. I'm just saying that from a hindsight point of view, that doesn't really work. I am also surprised they never brought Tessa into this. Perhaps they were going to? Because they did also bring Brother Zachariah in. And... Like, they were both from the same series, so it would have made sense that bringing him in would prelude bringing her in like it did in the books. But, yeah, it's a very entertaining episode. We got two episodes left. Like I say, I didn't expect Jonathan to win. At the end of the third last episode. Nor did I expect it to be dealt with. I thought that, if anything, would have been the fight of the final episode. Like, I will spoil it. It says in the synopsis for the next episode that the Shadowhunters are discovering a way to get into Edom to try and get Magnus back. A similar plot point does happen... In the book, I'll talk more about this, comparing it to what we see in the show. But while Alec, Isabel, Jace, Simon and Clary are travelling through Edom, Alicante is under siege by the Fair Folk and Sebastian's army. So... Yeah, that's why I was sort of expecting of if anything, if any army is set upon Alicante, um, it would be while they're not there and a sort of a race against the clock to stop Sebastian, well, stop Jonathan, to end the war. But we'll see what actually happens in the next two episodes and... Yeah, so with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.